Hey Haunters, I know it's been a while since I uh, posted any uh, videos, but just wanted to give you a little bit of an update of where we were uh, for the Yard Haunt this year. Uh, I know last time we had uh, spoken, I was working on the tombstones. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't gotten too much done. Uh, my son started school, we got baseball going on, started back with Boy Scouts, so it's been a little bit crazy, but I did get a little bit done. Um, this one I, I still have to do, but I did do the black on the lettering on uh, these tombstones. Uh, I also have a few in the basement that I tried using the airbrush with. Um, and the airbrush was jamming up, so I think I have to thin it down a little bit more. But uh, I also did this dummy body. Uh, this is going to be for the electric chair dummy. Uh, I still have to do the bottom, the, the legs and all, and then dress him and the head. Uh, I keep going back and forth of what I want to do with the head. I think that I'm going to uh, just do a, a form and put a burlap bag over him. Uh, and then I also need to do the, uh, you know, the, the cap for the, for the electricity. Uh, so that's pretty much where we are at this point. I also uh, had painted some rats and uh, I have, you know, like the liver from the dollar store that I'm going to use with that for, for this year. Um, but I did do these rats. They kind of came out a little bit shiny when I did the clear coat on them. I used matte, but for some reason they, they came out a little shiny. So I'm not thrilled with them, but they'll do. Uh, I could always work on them over the winter. Um, and get them back to, to the spot that I need. Uh, again, I have the, uh, the clothes there. I also, uh, I'll do it in, a, in another video, but uh, I have, I went to Walmart uh, probably about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago probably. Uh, got some stuff there, Home Depot, got a bunch of Oops paint I'll show you. Uh, and the dollar store, actually it was funny, the uh, two of those rats I got at the dollar store and the cashier did not want to touch them. So she did not bring them up and she gave them to me for free. So I thought that was pretty funny. She was totally grossed out by them. Uh, that was the case. I should have gotten like six or seven of them. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Just wanted to give you a quick update. We have baseball today. Uh, so we're not going to get much done today. Um, hopefully on Monday, what's Monday the 22nd, hopefully we'll be able to buckle down and get working and, and get some stuff done. I need to move. I actually want to do the PVC piping on the back of these uh, before I paint them. Uh, I did get, I don't people like to get the liquid nails, so uh, maybe we'll be able to do that Sunday and then paint them sometime next week. So that's it. Just wanted to give you a brief update, let you know what's going on, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, well, it's Sunday. Uh, Some went back to school uh, this past week, so I didn't get too much done. Uh, I was back to work as well, but just a couple of things that I am working on. Uh, I got these rats here. I know it's kind of it's kind of a pink. I know it's a little dark out here, so I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. So I'm working on these rats, and this paint, uh, I, I spray painted them black uh, just to get some of that shine off. Uh, and the paint's just not drying, so uh, I'm just going to leave them out here for uh, another day. Let's see how that goes. Um, I filling in the uh, black on the tombstones. The other ones I need to airbrush. These I'm going to airbrush just because it's a little too uh, too small to get the the brush in there. I figure airbrushing will be easier. Uh, and then the other thing that I have going here is I did a uh, the tape form for the dummy for the electric chair. Uh, so that's done and stuffed. I have the PVC pipe on that. Uh, it's rather long. It's probably about three and a half feet long uh, at this point. And uh, yeah, so that's underway. Uh, I still got to do the, the bottom. I think I'm just going to do a PVC frame for the bottom and then... Uh, you know, and then and just stuff the pants with, with paper. This is uh, clear packing tape that I used. And I had this body form here, uh, wrapped it in saran wrap, and then went around it with all the tape. So uh, that's done. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I hope to get the bottom done tomorrow. I'm going to hook up the sander and, and get that done. I still haven't found leather straps. I may just have to use a... Uh, uh, 
just some some uh, some rope, uh, or maybe try to hit a garage sale and see if I can find a couple of belts. Uh, haven't had any luck on that yet. Um, so we got the dummy going, the racks we're gonna do, it. and then what I'm also thinking is is I don't know if I'll be able to do it this year, but I want to paper mache uh, this and have it open and have the racks eaten out as insides. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm gonna airbrush the. Um, the fonts or the lettering on the tombstone uh, either today or tomorrow and uh, just wanted to again just wanted to give you a quick update and I'll talk to you soon all right working on the rats the dollar store rats this is the original um, I just painted a pink there on the nose, a little bit on the mouth, the feet, and the tail. Uh, it is black, it is very shiny, and this is the dry brushed version. Uh, just used a light gray, kind of put it on there, and brushed, or wiped most of it off. Uh, there's the one that is sitting up. And this one just got to touch up a couple of places on here, around the ear, uh, around the mouth. They kind of messed up the nose, so got to fix that as well in the back leg and still need to do this one um, I had some black painting on that that I did so I'm gonna let that dry do that and that is it for now we'll talk to you soon